Libra thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for January 21st to January the uh, 27th. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't mind. I'm just happy to have you here listening. Um, so I will start your reading right now for Libra. The first card you have for your past is uh, Death. So yeah, I think you might have finally been moving on from someone. Um, I'm saying finally because I think um, I th I'm seeing someone who you were tied to in some way, and I think uh, this might have been an ex. But I think the ties that you had to them, or the connection that you had with them, was um, was a practical one. You had, I mean, obviously it wasn't in the beginning, but at this time it was. You had. Uh, you know, you had some practical things that had to be finished off with and it was something like that. And I think you wanted to sort this out. You wanted to put this behind you and you've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. You've been wanting to just move forward. But I think maybe uh, they could have been um, delaying things in some way, creating a lot of little problems or roadblocks around this. Probably not maliciously. I don't think they were trying to be malicious. I don't think they were trying to stop you to get back at you or anything like that. But I think that deep down, um, or maybe even subconsciously even, I think they might have been maybe struggling to move on in their mind. They might have, um, in their head, they might have said, oh, I'm moving on, I don't care, I'm not interested in them, da da da. But maybe deep in their heart, they might have still had a problem with just letting go of that last final bit of you, if that makes sense. But now, you know, th they were finally letting go at this time. Um, and I've seen this situation in a few of your readings, um, or something like this. So um, this is something that has been carrying on for a long, long time. And I'm really glad to see this finally being over for you, if this is resonating with you, because um, you'll be able to move on with your new life now, which is what the death card is about. Out with the old, in with the new. You're starting afresh, you're starting anew. And I think that, you know, also I think things might have been getting to you a bit mentally and emotionally every time you had to interact with this person, uh, this ex. So I think, uh, you know, I think as time goes on, you'll be getting stronger and stronger and stronger mentally. That's what I'm seeing as you kind of move forward from this old situation. So this is really good to see. I'm really happy to see that. So the next card you have in your past is the Nine of Wands. So yeah, you're coming out of this time. You're coming out. This man's coming out from behind his wands. So uh, you're coming out of this, you're feeling a bit battered mentally, like the poor man who has this poor man who has a bandage around his head. And I think, you know, as I was seeing in the death card, I think even having to see them at all might have set you back a bit mentally and emotionally every time you had to see them. I'm just getting this feeling of you, you know, going about your day, everything was fine. And then you'd hear from them and then they'd start to speak to you in a certain way and then you're just feeling all down again and then you had to kind of try to build yourself up again so that you're able to kind of get on with your day again and then they'd speak to you again or they'd message you again and then you'd almost be back to square one emotionally again so you'd be up down up down and i'm really happy um to see you putting all of this behind you because you won't be doing this kind of um backwards and forwards thing anymore with your emotions and you know, you'll just be able to build yourself up again without someone coming along and crushing you down again. Whether they meant to do that or not, I don't know. They might not have meant to. I don't think they did because they're not malicious. I'm seeing that in the death card. It might have just been psychologically having them near you and talking to you and the way they were speaking to you might have reminded you of your past or it might have just bothered you. you it, there was something about it. They might have been talking around in circles and not getting to the point or something. There was something about the way they were speaking to you that really got you down and you just didn't want to talk to them at all or be around them at all. Um, and, but yes, you were moving forward. You know, you were tired, you were a bit nervous even, uh, but you were moving forward. You were getting out of this, which is the main thing. And it's really fantastic to see if this is resonating with you. Um, the last card you have your past is the Ten of Wands. Yes, um, I'm seeing, this might sound a bit strange, I'm seeing, 
I'm seeing doubling in this card, doubling something, doubling your responsibilities or doubling work or something like that. I think someone might have been expecting you to do the work of two people or trying to get you to do extra work or something like that. And I don't think you're dead, which is really good to see. You stood your ground. So this is showing your strength already. You stood your ground. You didn't just automatically say yes to them. And I think this person might see themselves in a higher position than you, or they think that they can tell you what to do for some reason. Um, I don't think they do have authority over you. Uh, they definitely don't. I can see that. Um, but they thought they did. They had a misguided idea of their importance. Um, they have a lot of ideas, I think, and they might even they might not be good ideas. <laughs> Maybe I'm just saying that because I don't like them. I don't like the sound of them. They might be good ideas, I don't know. But yes, they have a lot of ideas, and but they're not prepared to put the work in to make the ideas actually happen. They might expect, you know, they probably do, they probably expect other people to put the work in, but you are determined and you weren't going to just bow down to this person. And you know, if you did say yes, you knew, you knew that you'd probably end up looking a bit like the poor man on this card. And I think other people probably said no to them as well. You're not alone. They probably went around and expected other people to do the same thing. But I'm seeing, you know, just be ready. Just be ready for them to come back again and try this again with you. I'm seeing them asking again. Well, maybe they tell. They really ask. They tell. Um, and, you know, maybe uh, they might come to you again with this and they might come from a different perspective this time, a different angle. So they might come up with something like, oh, I'm unwell, can you do this for me? And they might say, oh, so-and-so says yes, they don't have a problem. Or I've spoken to the boss and they said you have to do it. They might come up with all kinds of tricks to get you to do this. Um, but I think because they've already tried once, you're going to be ready. You know what you're waiting for. You know what you're going, what to expect from them, and you're going to have your guard up, I think. But they will try, so just be ready. If this all resonates with you, be ready for this person to come back again. And whatever you do, don't do it. I don't think you will, though. So the first card you have for your present is the Emperor. Right. This is interesting. The Emperor. You know the. The emperor is brutally honest, I'll say that. They're very, he's very blunt, um, but honest. And you know, you know exactly where you are with them. You know where you are with the emperor, but um, you might not like to hear what they have to say all the time because they're just very, very, very blunt. And I think this could be about um, a love connection. It could be a friend, but I think it probably is a love connection. I am seeing someone who really loves you. I'm seeing someone who really cares for you. Um, I, yeah, this, I don't know if this is going to sound strange or if it will only resonate with some people, but I'm just going to say what I see. Um, I have to say that. Um, so you might be involved with someone who uh, maybe you met them through work or maybe there was some kind of a work connection between you. It might be something like they were your client or you were their client or something, or you know you might just have met them at work, but there's some kind of work connection between you. Um, and whoever this is, is a really forceful person. They're like the emperor. Um, they're probably a high achiever. Um, I think this person might have actually said something to you that had you feeling a bit upset. Um, maybe you didn't say anything because I'm seeing you uh, keeping things inside yourself. You're keeping things to yourself for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but yes, they were blunt and this did really hurt you. But um, they felt that what they were saying was for your own good. Uh, they said it out of love. That's what I'm seeing, if this is all resonating with you. Um, and it hurt you. And it probably hurts you to hear this as well, to even hear about this at all. Um, because it really hurts you, that's what I'm seeing. But whatever this is, um, whoever this is, um, they love you and they care about you. I'm seeing that very, very clearly in this card. They love you. I keep on seeing that. They love you. So if this is bothering you or upsetting you, maybe take some time out, maybe have some quiet time to yourself, maybe try to think about this objectively. Um, whether you agree with what they said or not, 
um, they do care about you and they do love you. I keep on seeing that in this card. So you might agree, you might not agree, you might just not want to hear this right now. Um, you just don't want to feel that hurt. But just know that they said that out of love. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, the next card you have for your present is the lovers. Yes, here we are. This person loves you. This person cares for you. Uh, they're not trying to hurt you. They love you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, the man on this card standing in front of the tree of life. And the tr on the tree of life, the leaves look like flames. So again, this is reflecting what I'm seeing um, in the emperor. Fire, flames, you know, passion, anger, all of these things. Bluntness. You know, there's fire behind him. There's passion behind him. And he's looking directly at this woman, but she's not looking at him. So what I'm seeing here is that they're saying something to you, but you don't want to look at them. You don't want to face whatever it is they're saying to you. You don't want to hear this message. So, you know, don't be angry. Don't be upset. I'm not saying that what they're saying is definitely true. It might be. It might not be. That's not the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is they wanted to help you or they want to help you. That's why they're saying what they're saying. They're saying it out of a place of caring for you, wanting you to make the right decision or something like that because they care for you, they love you. That's what I keep on seeing. Sorry about that siren. The last card you have for your present is the Six of Swords. So again, um, yeah, I don't want to repeat myself, but I think maybe the only way you're going to be able to see their true intentions, I think, um, or the reason why they're saying this to you, or they were saying this to you, I think the only way you're going to come to terms with this is to find some calm in your head and to think about this quietly by yourself. You might even have to kind of physically separate yourself uh, from this for a while. Um, I'm not talking about separating yourself from them. I'm not saying you have to separate yourself from this person if you're in a relationship with this person. Um, I'm talking about just finding a quiet place for a while so that you can think about this or maybe meditating if this is something that you do. Um, the man on this card, he's trying to steer the woman and the child in the right direction. He's trying to help them. So this person thought they were helping you, but it got lost in the way that it came across. I'm seeing that everywhere. So, you know, of course, this is up to you to work out what you think. You might just decide that you don't agree with them. You might decide that you don't want to be spoken to like that. Or you might decide that, yes, they did love you and that's why they were saying what they were saying. It's up to you. But I think to figure this out, to work all of this out, you're going to have to go and spend that time by yourself and just get some quiet time. That's what I'm seeing in that card. So the first card you have for your future is the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm seeing some things that you've been wanting to manifest in this card, a few things, um, but I think they'll put on hold for a while because I think you might have been waiting for this situation in the death card to come to an end before you started this. I'm getting a feeling of you needing to finalise things and get things out of the way before you started taking action and that makes sense. Um, but. Yeah, this is going to be the time to start. That's what I'm seeing. This is going to be this time to start manifesting, planning things. And I think you will be able to do at least one of these things. I'm seeing one big thing that you've, you've been wanting to manifest for a long time. Uh, it's definitely possible. I'm seeing that if you put the work in. There are red roses all over this card, which can symbolize um, manifestation. They can symbolize love as well. But um, in this card, I'm seeing they're symbolizing manifesting. And that this is obviously a financial goal that I'm seeing because this is the Queen of Pentacles. The other thing I'm seeing in this card is protection. And I'm seeing that in the Six of Wands as well. Um, so I think there might be, not the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords. So I think, um, I think there's someone who you're trying to shelter from all of this, all of this drama that I was seeing in the Emperor card. Um, I'm just seeing you trying to keep a lot of things to yourself. Uh, you are trying to keep quiet about all of this so that you uh, don't upset someone I'm seeing. 
and um, you are doing that. I think you're doing a very good job of that, so don't worry about all of that. But I think they are picking up on the atmosphere, whoever this is. So I don't think anyone can help that. I don't think you can help that happening. So don't be angry with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if you're worrying about this. But um, if this is a child, I mean, it might not be, but I'm seeing Mercury in this card and there is a child in the Six of Swords as well. So it might be a child. If it is a child that I'm seeing here, um, they probably are feeling some kind of um, upset. They're probably feeling this atmosphere. So, um, and if you look at the Six of Swords again, there are four swords in front of the woman in this card. And there are two swords in front of the child. So, um, you know, that's telling me that uh, they are bringing this with them. They are kind of feeling all of this. So um, if this is a child, please talk to them. Just gently explain things to them as well as you possibly can. Just say something like, I love you very much. None of this is your fault. I'm really sorry that you've heard some of this has happened around you. I just want you to know that um, I love you. We all love you. And um, I just want to apologize again. I'm doing everything I can so that everyone feels happy and everything's fine. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me. I really want to answer you. I want um, to be upfront and honest with you. And I really want you to be able to come with me with, to me with any questions that you have. But um, uh, the main thing I want to tell you is that I love you very much. And I want you to know that I'm always there for you. And this has nothing to do with you. Nothing is your fault. Something like that. Just be very gentle. Just explain it to them. That's what I'm seeing. If this is a child. So the next card you have for your future is the Hermit. So yes, you are going to get this time to yourself, I'm seeing. This is what the Hermit's telling me. You are going to sort all of this out in your head. And I think you are probably going to realise that uh, this person's intentions are good. They are meant to be positive for you. But I don't think you're going to tolerate being um, spoken to like this. You're not going to agree to the way that they spoke to you, especially if this is a child. You're especially going to come down quite hard on them, actually, if this is a child, because you do not want that kind of thing happening around a child. Or if this is someone else you're trying to protect, you also don't want them around um, that kind of thing around them either. So you are going to speak to them about this. You do have to speak to them about this. You're probably going to try and be as diplomatic as you can around them because they can be a little bit angry, a bit volatile. They are the emperor after all. So um, this is a fine line. This is going to be quite a delicate way that you're going to have to speak to them, I think. So uh, I think you are, this is what you're doing. You're thinking at this time. You think, how am I going to talk to them? What will I say? Um, I want to make this point, that point, this point. I want to make sure that they know that they shouldn't say this, they shouldn't say that. I want them to also know that I understood where they're coming from and I know that they meant well, but this and this. So how am I going to say this? Um, so you might be even thinking about this, calculating this in your mind. You might even be writing down notes um, so that you don't forget what you have to say. But you're really getting this time out to yourself which is what I've seen you needed to do, and you're really going to think this through very carefully. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have for your future is the Eight of Swords, yes. Um, yes, obviously this isn't going to be an easy conversation that you're going to be having with this person. But if this all resonates again, um, yeah, don't be tempted to put this off. Um, this is a conversation that you're going to have to have. It's important for you. It's important for them and again if there is a child involved or someone else involved that you're caring for it's important for them very important for them so um, yeah don't be tempted to put this conversation off um, the poor woman in this card she's obviously blindfolded she's bound but not very tightly she could easily take these off and she could easily see she'd be able to see she'd be able to walk so try not to put this conversation off by, um, you know, putting unnecessary barriers in front of it. Don't say to yourself, oh, I have to do, to do this first. Oh, I have to do that first. 
I'll just put this card up so you can see properly. Oh, I'll, I'll talk to them after this. I'll talk to them after I have to do that. Oh, this, that. Don't put it off because this woman has barriers around her. They're unnecessary. She could take them away if she wanted to. Do this as soon as you can. Have this conversation as quickly as you can. Don't let things sit there stagnating like this muddy looking swamp or whatever this is in front of this poor woman. Clear the waters, clear the air. That's what you're going to have to do with this person. Do it as quickly as possible. This is a necessary conversation. So Libra, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, you know, if you like this reading, please like, please subscribe. Please leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.